Hi everyone, and welcome to our introduction to getting started with Adobe Spark. Uh, we're gonna start with how to sign in, and the first place you're gonna wanna go is gonna go to spark.adobe.com. And again, this will take you to uh, the basic homepage. You've got some features pricing. There is a, a premium version. Um, there is also an education version, which would be totally worth getting, which will allow your kids to bypass the age restriction, which we'll talk about in just a second. Uh, but you can see some of the examples right here off the bat and some uh, things that you can do. The three things we're gonna talk about in these series of videos. One is how to create graphics. The second, how to create really cool web pages. And then uh, the third, how to create videos. So those are the three things uh, that you can do uh, with Adobe Spark. So here's how you log in. Either get started for free or log in, take you to the same place. Um, it'll take you to a place where you can either sign in with one of these four options. If you already have an Adobe ID, that would be the best way to do it, but you can use Google, Facebook, and email. Um, logging in with a school account requires you to already have a school account set up, and that's something that your IT folks can do, uh, is set that up so that you can bypass the age restriction. But we'll see that here in just a second. I'm on a Google account, so I'm just going to go ahead and sign in with Google. And again, if you, most of your kids are doing that, that might be the case. So it will have you choose your account. And then it's going to give you this um, welcome to Adobe. It's going to tell you who you are. Obviously, you can give your uh, country. And then it's going to ask for a date of birth. Now, it is important that um, you're accurate with this for your own records. They want to know how old you are um, for that. They will not allow you to have an account if you're under the age of 13. Uh, because there's the ability to share what they create on um, social media and that's what they explain right here and why do we need this um, and it is important that if you have students that are under the age of 13 um, that you don't lie about this and actually have them create the education account it is um, totally worth um, spending the time to do it's also free so that's another big important point. Once I've put my age in there and hit done, it's gonna send me to uh, my home page. And in this case, I don't have anything. It will make you uh, choose here if you want a newsletter or not. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say yes, I want the newsletter. They do send you some pretty cool ideas and stuff like that. Hit continue. Um, now we've been taken to a landing page here where it's gonna ask us what we want to create. and. You can search for some stuff here, or you can scroll down and take a look at some of their examples. And they do have examples of both graphics and uh, videos on here. So you can kind of see there's a video uh, for a teaser. Some other examples, if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you have your three options, starting uh, from scratch with a graphic, a web page, or creating a video. And for right now, you can choose any one of these um, and create a graphic. And again, same thing, start from scratch. Or um, if you click on uh, any of these other options, it will take you to um, a version of that that you can edit. So that's kind of how you get started. Um, in future videos, we're gonna talk to you about getting into the graphics and the pages, um, the websites and the videos. Uh, and so hopefully we'll see some of the awesome magic that you create here on Adobe Spark. And we uh, will see you soon.